Hello and welcome to this month's vlog. My name is Lauren Heise and I'm the founder and president of Heatline Corporation. We manufacture freeze protection systems that are essential for keeping water running year-round in any climate. This month I'd like to speak on installation variables. Well, Heatline's been designing and manufacturing products for 32 years. Uh, we take a lot of pride in making excellent, reliable, and easy to install products. Along with manufacturing uh, really great products, we also pride ourselves in taking the time to speak with our customers to find out what their exact needs are, to understand their application parameters. Uh, is their pipe going to be on the surface? Are they on rock? Is the pipe in the ground? There are a lot of application variables when dealing with freeze protection. I'm just going to go through a few examples of this because I think it's important and I want you to understand that if you call Heatline, our technicians are experts at this. We've been doing it for more than three decades and uh, we've probably seen most everything. I'm sure we haven't seen everything, but we've seen a lot. So one of the questions that will be asked if you call uh, we'll, we'll try to determine what, what your geography is like. Is the pipe in the ground? And a lot of times uh, people call and they've got a pipe that's two feet in the ground. They don't know whether or not they can leave that pipe in the ground and freeze protect it or if they're going to have to go to the cost and expense of hiring an excavator to dig a trench, to tear up their property, what have you. When in most cases our product called Retroline is a, is a huge consideration because capital cost wise it'll save a lot of money, no excavations required and in some cases the pipe will be in the ground and it'll come above the surface and so on and in those cases we simply insulate the existing pipe where it comes out of the ground and we we just retrofit the system by pushing a retro line all the way through the pipe. Often this can be done in an hour or less. Often people will call Heatline and they'll be installing a new system, a complete new system. So there are considerations here as well. We make a product called Carapace, which comes out of the factory to the specific length. So for example, someone may call and order a Carapace 200 feet long. Well, the minute they do that, they're committed to a 200 foot piece of pipe. And if it's running into a lake, to a submersible pump or a foot valve, uh, that length should not be an issue because there's, um, you know, there's space so that um, in the lake it doesn't matter if it's 10 feet too long. Um, the other problem though is that sometimes we don't know the length of the system. We may think we know what's required. So rather than be committal to um, a factory finished system with the freeze protection already installed, there's also the option of purchasing certified polyethylene water pipe perhaps 50 feet longer than you think you need because it's very inexpensive make the installation of the pipe just as it would be a summer system tailor it in the field cut it to length and then come back and install a retro line it's often um, there's some comfort in doing a, an installation that way because you haven't committed the, the, the higher capital cost to the, to the freeze protected product. At Heatline, we're all about efficiency. When installing new freeze protection, the, there's also the question of how are we gonna insulate that pipe? And there, 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 there are different methods of doing it. You can spray foam it, you can put uh, Styrofoam SM, uh, or uh, uh, some people call it foam board. As long as it's the weatherproof, uh, non-absorbing foams, uh, you can insulate that way. You can use foam insulation sleeves. There are a lot of variables, but your conditions, your geography, your type of installation uh, may warrant uh, different insulations. And uh, that's where our staff comes in and we can advise you on that and we're pleased to do so. One of the other things that's important to note with new installations or even when retrofitting existing installations, while Heatline doesn't require thermostats or high limit devices to keep them from overheating, that doesn't mean we don't use them. Uh, there are a lot of parameters, there are a lot of different reasons why we would use thermostats or timers or various controls with the system. 
The idea behind using thermostats and controls is to duty cycle and uh, to save energy. And uh, the location of the thermistors or sensors on the pipes, they're all a consideration when designing uh, your system. And that's what Heatline will help you with. That's what our technicians and staff will help you with. If you've had a well drilled, as an example, and you might think it's 50 feet away from your home, but you don't really know exactly how much pipe you're gonna require to get to your pump room right down to the foot. You, you, it may be very difficult to know that. And in those cases, it's, it's almost always a good idea and a safe bet to install the polyethylene pipe to the well head, to the drilled well, and then connect all of your plumbing and pressure system, and then come back and retrofit with our Retroline product. At Heatline, proper product selection is essential in building a freeze protection system that's going to be reliable and perform for many years. And our staff are here and they're dedicated to speak with you so that you fully understand uh, the freeze protection requirements before you spend a nickel on the products. We hope you found this video informative and we will continue to produce a new video every month. So be sure to sign up for our email newsletter and subscribe to our social media pages. You can always contact us by phoning Heatline at 1-800-584-4944 or you can contact us at www.heatline.com. And thank you for watching.